Okay, so today is the very last struggles car because I think a few days ago I did the truck type. I can't remember the fucking name, but you know what I'm on about. That was the last one that they're releasing for the struggles update. But in total, I still had one left to do, which is the car I'm doing today. And what car is that? That is the classic Broadway, and you can get it on Legendary Motorsport for 925,000, which. It's not bad, it's one of the cheaper cars of this update, but again, it's still not cheap cheap, it's basically a mill. So I'll read through the description, we'll look at the stats, customise the car, test out the speed and we'll wrap it up. So, let's face it, so far the future has been a disappointment. We were promised commercial space travel and world peace. What we got was increasingly weird VR porn and everything else pretty much sucked. So why not buckle into the Broadway and head right back to a time before Rule 34 existed? And futuristic design was still... Yeah, hi, this is a uh, future me. I do know what that says. It says utopian. I don't know why past we couldn't say it. So shut up. Don't need you mocking me. Okay, I just thought I'd address that because I don't know why I couldn't say it. So anyway, let's go. Let's carry on. Hey. Yeah, I don't know what that says. Sci-fi rather than doomsday chick. Basically, it's an old-timey car. That is also you need to know. And because like you can already tell that the stats are gonna be good. This, this ain't no sports car. I mean, the speed acceleration, yeah, it's, it's, just look at it, the braking's awful, but... So, what did I actually come up with? See, this car was hard to actually think of a design, because I didn't really know what to do, because, well, it, it's pretty shit, so... I ended up coming up with this. I think it looks alright. I tried so many different things, I even looked at what other people did to see what... I could probably try and nick, but nothing really looked that good. So in the end, I came up with this myself. So I'll show you how to make my own version of it, and then we'll head to the airport. So armor at max. So the bodywork, I got the full body trim. Now what I don't get is you can remove literally the front of the car, and I think it looks pretty stupid. Brakes, I've got it max. Now the bumpers, the front, I've got the roadster bumper. I'll show you what the other ones look like as well, so you can make your decision. And then for the rear, I've got the power ram. And then I'll show you all the other ones as well. Uh, the engine, I've got a max. The exhaust, I've got the finned chrome exhausts. I mean, they're not really much different, to be honest. Fenders, I've got the fender covers with the full trim. Which, so you can have, well, you get it, the, the wheel, the back wheels aren't covered, but I wanted them covered. And then I've got all the, the, like, the metal stripes. Hood, I've got the full hood trim. It's literally again just more the stripes, and you can either remove it. Like yes, I don't, I don't, I don't know why you'd want to do that, but some people might. Uh, the headlights, I've got white lights, which you can get in either your Arena War Workshop or you can get in the LS car meet. So uh, the livery, I've got the LS Customs white, and there's also a black version of it, which I tried to use, but you just can't see it, so I used the white one, so it stands out a bit more. There's also some lowrider type liveries as well, like those ones. Uh, flames, two-tone flames, vintage details. Now this one as well, you can actually get a taxi livery for, which is what I was going to do. So max with the Eudora that I did back along. However, you have to take 50 customers to their destination during taxi work, so I'm not this item, and I cannot be asked to sit there and do taxi work for about an hour just to get this. Because, let's be honest, I'm never probably going to use this car again. Uh, you can also get uh, worn down liveries as well, which is quite cool. So there, there is possibility to design, but it just depends what you're really into. I, I struggle to customize this car. So for the mirrors, I got the bullet mirrors. Um, they're left, they're quite discreet. Uh, for the plate, I haven't even touched. Also, there are now custom license plates again. You have to visit. I haven't actually tried it out myself yet, but apparently some people have had problems with it. But again, I cannot confirm if I am one of those people, because I haven't even tried yet, so... Uh, next car i got to do, I have no idea, so I've got to go back and do some of the other ones. I'll make sure I have a custom license plate for that one. Uh, so for the colour, for the primary one, I used one of the chameleon colours, which was the anodized blue pearl. And for the secondary colour, I used metallic ice white, just as you can see. Now again, I have no idea if these Drug Wars vehicles are on last gen, I don't think they are. But again, I could be wrong. Just use a uh, very similar blue, because you won't obviously have the blue that I've used. Um, the roof accessories, I haven't got any, because, well, 
yeah, why, why the fuck do I need that? I, I don't need that. Suspension I haven't touched. Transmission I've got race. Turbo, obviously. Visors I've got the vintage cars though. And obviously I'll show you the other ones that pretty much they all look the same. The wheels now, I, I haven't actually changed the wheels purely because the stock wheels looked a lot better. But what I have done is I put bulletproof tires on. So for the windows, also, I've also given them a light smoke. So that's how to make my version of the Broadway. Um, yeah, customization's a bit mid, to be honest. But it's not awful. So we'll head down to the airport and we shall test out the speed. Okay, so we're at the airport. And now if you haven't been here on this channel before, what I do is I take the car of choice, which today obviously is the classic Broadway, to this yellow line at the airport. As we then, once I start a timer, we then start from here and we race all the way down to the end at the airport. And well, you basically get a, we get a rough time. It tells us basically how fast the car is. It's, it's pretty simple. It's not really um, any other way to explain it. So I'm not gonna waste any time. We're gonna get into testing out the speed of this thing in three two one and off we go now this is a muscle car so see, yeah it is going to do that i was expecting that now i'm also hoping we don't actually crash because the speed and also the acceleration isn't great but again the braking as you saw is pretty poop and i'm not expecting a very good time here all uh, either so we should find out now the question is will i actually go flying or will i not um, semi. Okay, so we got a time of 22 seconds and 72 milliseconds. That was kind of expected. I wasn't really expecting a really fast run from that one, to be honest. So, what would I, what would I give this out of 10? The Broadway, it can get, it can get a five out of 10. Because, like I said, the customization, if you know what you're looking for, it's easy. But if you're like me and you had no idea what the fuck you wanted to do with it. It takes a while to get something decent, I'll see, because this is what I settled on, but I tried quite a few different colour combinations and all sorts. So, I'll see, like, the speed isn't bad, braking is not great, and I'll see, so, 5 out of 10 is what this is going to get. So, I hope this was useful for you to make your decision on whether or not you'd actually buy this car, because... I might, I'm not going to sell this car, but if I was not doing this, I would not have bought this car at all. So, there you go. Uh, this will be the last Druggles review because I still believe I have like three or four-ish other cars that I have missed in the past which I did say I'll go back and do even though I know you lot won't probably watch them as much as these ones but I'm still going to go back and do them just so they're there just in case you need them and uh, the next video again is going to be a Fortnite because I've been alternating between the two at the moment which is what I'm going to do again uh, with the next upload but all I have to say is, if you enjoyed, leave a like and maybe subscribe because we are doing quite well and we are rising. We're, we're doing good. And also go check out my Instagram because I stay up to date with everything that I do on here on there straight before. So that's it from me. I hope this is useful and thanks for watching.